Hello everyone, Pelly here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. We are on the PTR today. It's been a little unstable because this is the first day of the Heroes of the Storm 2.0 beta that is going out right now. You can see the logo at the bottom. Cassia is the new hero. I wanted to specifically talk about the loot system today because we just did a stream where we were trying to answer a lot of questions and there were a lot of people coming in with these same concerns. So... I don't even know how this was a possibility, like a train of thought that people were going on, but anything you own now, you will continue to own when 2.0 comes out. I'm not sure why people thought that Blizzard would take away something from you, especially when you've paid money for that something. What you will continue to get is the opportunity to get loot up, uh, these loot chests. Now these loot chests will come uh, as a leveling up reward. This is not entirely retroactive though, from what I understand. This is what I've been told. I did not ask the developers myself. There is a 70 loot cap based on your account level. Now we are still on the PTR right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm level 72 and I was giving 14 loot chests for being level 72. Uh, level 72 is not that hard to achieve if you've been playing the game for any amount of time. Is there a, so my hero roster still has a bunch of level ones in it. I think my highest level on this is the butcher at level six. So there's there's a lot of room to get a lot of chests here for free when the Heroes 2.0 rolls over. Now, there's people that are really upset about the 70 loot chest cap, if it, if it is a thing. Um, they never use the word cap with me, but again, I also didn't ask the developers. I'm amazed by that because that's 280 opportunities to get something you never had before just because you played the game. 280 opportunities to get a skin, mount, portrait, character that you didn't have before, as well as new things that are being added to the game for absolutely free just for playing the game already. There's people that feel entitled to getting more because of their hero level. I can kind of understand that. But it's still 280 opportunities because let's go ahead and open these. This is my first time opening them. I wanted to share this on screen. 280 opportunities to get something that you didn't have before. So this is what it's going to look like. And as you unlock these, we got a common voice line for Lunara. And we can equip this in our loadout and then use this in the game as a taunt. We got emojis. We got emojis. I'm assuming I'm gonna get a lot of emojis because I have everything else. And then if you do open your loot thing and you decide you don't like this particular one, you can go ahead and spend a little bit of your gold. I have 250,000 gold on the live servers and you can re-roll these. And look, I actually got a better item for it. We got a rare treasure goblin emoji that rolls around. That's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. But this is all absolutely free just because you were playing the game. And Blizzard is giving this to you because you played the game. I don't, I just, I really, I don't get it. I know, I know I'm an optimist a lot of the time. Okay, that's a really cool banner. I know I'm an optimist a lot of the time. We have a new Kerrigan skin that wasn't even in the game before that I now have access to. And this is all completely free. And you're going to continue to get these loot chests as you continue to play through the game. So this was a duplicate skin. Now I have currency for the shards that I can then use to spend in the shop and get other things. Now, master skins are no longer a reward for hitting level 10. I already touched upon this in my first impressions video, but I'll go into that now as well. The master skins can be achieved at any time and they're just normal skins. You don't have to be level 10 to unlock them. They do not show veterancy. But I have a level 15 stitches on the live servers. When 2.0 comes out, Hey there, hey there, Stitches. When 2.0 comes out, that level 15 skin will go up significantly higher. It'll probably be in the high 20s, low 30s. Now, what I get for having a Stitches that high of a level is I'll be able to go into the game and taunt. And this taunt will be significantly more boisterous. It'll be significantly larger. It'll make a much higher impact. It'll be like, look at that guy. He's played a lot of stitches over there. So he gets a better taunt than I do as someone who just started playing. We have our first. So we have our legendary Uther skin, legendary skin that I have a duplicate of 400 uh, shards in the bank there. Now, a lot of you have followed my channel in the past and you know that I own everything that has ever released in this game. I have every mount that's that was up for purchase. I invested thousands of dollars into this game. If anyone has a right to be upset about a new loot system coming into play, I feel like it is me. 
Um, keep in mind. Oh, okay. Let's one train of thought at a time. Now, I have the opportunity here to, and as you've seen, I've unlocked more things that I did not have as a person who owns everything in the game. This is only adding new things, and I didn't do anything for this. It's absolutely free. I just don't, I just don't get it. I just really don't get it. That was a good skin, by the way. This is my rare chest here. Now, you can still, you can still, dude, that looks sick. I do wish there was a way to inspect these further here. That would be my one form of feedback. This is my first opportunity to actually open chests here. Uh, I do wish that I could um, kind of like right click on this and see it full screen or something. I would, I would like that to be added. But again, as a person who likes to spend money to support developers and to unlock things, that's still a thing I could do. We can go up here to the gym section. We can go to my collection. And if I wanted to, I haven't actually done this yet. So if I wanted to buy more gems, where do I go for that? Because I'm clicking on this. Gems can be acquired on the PTR by completing a repeatable quest. Oh, I see. But these shards that I have, that I got for getting duplicate items can now be used to purchase things like uh, the a Diablo skin that I want. So let's go ahead, search for the new Diablo skin. And I could go ahead, if I had enough, and go ahead and just straight up purchase this. And once this is on the live servers, I could then use these, uh, excuse me, shards to purchase things with free currency. Gems are the purchasing of a purchase currency with real life money. I could then use my gems to specifically buy this and it's no different from the old system. It's exactly the same as the old system. I'm giving money to Blizzard and getting a thing in return. This is only opening the horizon for free to play players who have not touched the game before. They are gonna be getting more out of the game, cosmetics out of the game that they weren't able to get otherwise. Or players who do spend money on this and do support the developers can pinpoint what they want a little bit easier. With these shards, you could still craft exactly what you want. So if I had more, I could get this Diablo skin and get more, uh, get exactly what I want without spending money. And you're gonna continue to get these loot chests throughout the course of just playing the game. And you're gonna be getting these rewards more often because I believe, this may not be exact, I believe you get them every five levels of leveling a hero up and those levels come easier than they did before. And there's no cap on a character. So if you really want to play stitches for a thousand games, you will continue to get loot chests for playing the exact thing that you want to play. I'm really confused by the outrage here. Uh, maybe it's a small minority of people that are really upset about this system. I see this as only an upgrade to the game in just about every conceivable way. But if you don't like the system, I would love to hear what you think, because it's honestly like they're just adding on to what we had before and making it more accessible to everyone across the board, rather than the whales of the community like me who throw money at it constantly. Just wanted to go over that and wanted to open some boxes. Uh, never opened any, so that was pretty cool. Once we do go to the live servers, I will be doing a video of just loot box. Oh, here we go. This is the thing. So if I wanted to buy more loot chests, which I could with the 1,000 gems that they gave me, I could go ahead and do that here, and we would get uh, 14. Okay. So uh, again, once we go on the live servers and I actually do get all of my crates, I believe I'm going to get 70 based off of what you guys are telling me. Again, that it's 280 free opportunities to get items that I didn't have access to before. I think that's pretty fucking generous. Just putting that out there. Thank you all for watching. See y'all next time. Okay, bye.